goes in and he tricks, uh, I got that guy's name. His name is Bib Fortuna, the guy with the big snaky thing looking around his neck. Go. Oh yeah. He's, he's like got a pink face with like a, yeah, a, a tail out of his, the back of his head that yeah. goes around his neck. He's the, yeah. Not my favorite character. <laughs> no. He's very low. He might be in one of the top five bad characters of my <laughs> least favorite. Well, but, uh, and, 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 and Vader and, gives and this him. This is actually where I, this page, I almost want to start talking about the art because of this page. Uh huh. Be- because there's, an, it's, it's good art in the, f- everything but the faces. I think the faces were not very well done in this comic, but I really like the backgrounds. Yeah, like this like is. Like for some reason, there's some kind of disconnect for me. Like with this guy in particular. Yeah, there's some digital. I don't like his face. There's some digital fingerprinting that's going on here. Uh, the backgrounds look great. The backgrounds make you look, make you watch this as though you're seeing it in, in cinema. Yeah. Yeah. It's full detail, cinematic, the whole, the deep backgrounds, the fine detail. But then I don't know, maybe like, Maybe it's because I'm comparing it a little to the Star Wars we reviewed last year. Uh huh. Where the faces were so spot on to the actors' faces. Right. And we see a little bit of that with, uh, when we, when we see, uh, the flashback of, uh, the cockpit of the Millennial Falcon and we see mm-hmm. the Han Solo character looks great. The rest of them look a little washed out. Yeah. But- and, and, and Luke looks good too. Luke's a, Luke's a close comparison. I, We'll get that. We'll get to that page. Luckily, though, Darth Vader, he's wearing a mask. So yeah, he's easy to do. He's easy. <laughs> but in one of my favorite, in one of my favorite, uh, uh, splash scenes coming up, he looks too short. We'll get, we'll, 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 we'll get there. So. Oh, you think so? Uh, Vader's got an audience with, uh, Jabba the Hutt. And I like this scene because he comes a day earlier. And they show it in the, in the, um, in the text later on that he's, mm. he's like a day early for this important, important meeting. So he's having, he's having an audience with Jabba and, Jabba the Hutt. and for those of you who don't know, he's like a big slug. Yeah. He looks just like a big slug. Giant slug. And he tries some, and he tries some mind Immune stuff. Immune to mind powers. But no, those Jedi tricks won't work on me. Yeah. I, and then so two or three pages into that scene, we get the first splash page of Darth Vader, he looks a little short. Yeah, it is a weird angle on him. Where, like, he's taller than all the people around him. Uh Uh-huh. But yeah, it's a weird angle down, so he does look short. I I love this. But he's shiny. I like how he's shiny. Yeah, he's got the light on top of him. And and I love all the characters in the background. We got bounty hunters and and, uh, guard, the hoggy-looking guard people. There's a Jawa. Do all, I don't, you might not know the answer, but do all bounty hunters wear that, the Fett mask? Or is that actually, uh, Django or Boba Fett right there? That's Boba Fett, I imagine. Boba Fett. You think that's him? Yeah. Cause he works for Jabba the Hutt, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. Cause so, we'll, we'll see that later. So there's the scene. Yes. And, and, uh, uh, I can't remember what, Vader's doing here. He wants some help. So Vader comes a day early, and to get the audience, he kills two of the guards. And then he's like, and uh, uh, Jabba the Hutt's like, why did you kill my two guards? And Vader's like, you should be happy that I didn't kill more. I'm being generous here. But he's kind of like, there's kind of this back and forth of who who's in who who's powerful, who has the upper hand and who needs to like obey who like at one point Boba Fett or uh, I keep saying job of the hut. Uh, like his finger is close to a button that seems like it'll lead to a trap door on Vader uh-huh. and Vader does so, some like uh, he people shoot at him and he does some nice lightsaber into uh, kill the guys behind him, but we don't really find out what he's looking for for a long time. Like there's this back and forth that I really enjoyed, but it doesn't really. It's not a full reveal. It, there's not a full reveal, which I guess means it's a hook. 
Right. And then, uh, uh, but, uh, but Java, but Java may not be, uh, pervy to, uh, oh, there's that lightsaber work. It's so great. But he, he but, uh, 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 he still, um, he still falls for the, the old choke your master thing. You know, like he's choke, he, he chokes yeah, out. Getting choked is, uh, that'll, that'll turn your, your opinion. Yeah. And that'll make you, you bow. Yeah. So Vader chokes. Chokes the uh, 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 job of the Which is hut. weird because he hardly even seems like he has a neck. <laughs> I guess he has a throat. And then we shoot back to uh, a day earlier, Imperial Palace. And this is where I'm kind of like... This poor. is where we get our explanation of what's maybe a little more of what's going on. Which I, I liked the, the back and forth of timeline. Like I think that it was well done in this first first little bit here. I think so too. And... Uh, because it laid enough of a hook of like, okay, Darth Vader's here. He's, he wants something, but they didn't need to tell us. And I, I like that they didn't. And this, this is where it gets a little like poor Vader. Like this is where you might have, like he's, he's not given excuses, but he's just sort of like stuff happened. And yes, I blew up the, yes, the Darth, the, Death Star the blew Death up. Death Star blew up. My my bad. My bad. Death Star blew up. <laughs> and 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 the uh uh the Emperor is just giving him a hard time and poor Vader is like, you know, knocked down to like um you know uh like you're you're gonna be uh on you know, KP or something, you know. Yeah, <laughs> KP, exactly. Yeah, it's like or I, I think the dialogue in this comic is really good. Like there, there's some pretty memorable back and forth type conversations in a lot of the, like I liked where, uh, the master was like, you're the only one alive who can take any, like <laughs> you, you, you have to take what I'm saying, uh, because you're the only one alive I have left to yell at. Yeah. You know, you should consider yourself lucky you're alive, but I'm going to be mad at you and yell at you. And then there's also kind of a little bit where Vader is walking out and uh, and the Emperor starts talking to, like, another dude. Yeah, so, like, he wants to put an, he decided to put another guy ahead of Vader. Uh-huh. So now Vader is, like, the underling to this guy. It's not Jeff, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, like, middle management Vader. And he's yeah, just like, exactly. oh, now i got to work for this guy? Yeah, and the uh, the guy doesn't seem like he's a Sith Lord or anything. He's just like a guy in a boardroom. Yeah, what is tag? Oh what yeah, is. he's got well, he's, uh, got, he's got the eye patch thing going. That's spooky and scary. Yeah, you never know. A little they sinister. Um, oh. but yeah, basically he's telling Vader like, "You screwed up. Like, you need to make amends. Like, you're you're on KP duty until like." Like, because, and I, I like how much they explained how important the Death Star was. To 20 like years in strategy. the world. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, this was, we were supposed to have this big thing that was supposed to like, I mean, you can almost, it's funny because I've been watching a lot of, or I watched all the Iron Mans recently. Uh-huh. And so to think of like the Death Star as like Tony Stark's like, hey, I got this ultimate weapon. So then nobody fight or else I'll get you. Yeah. It's like, well, if it's in the right hands, then it's good, you know? And so if you think the Empire is the right hands, then... Yeah. You know, happy day. Happy day. We got a big Death Star. And then and then we see some flashback to um, the fighting with Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, the the speeder, yeah, the, the, the flight down the... Just uh, uh, the X-Wing fighters and, and all of that. So it's it's always fun to, like, kind of revisit that, too. Yeah, I did like that flashback because it, it showed that Vader was distracted, too. Like, Vader is not this perfect character. Like, you know, like, he just found found his son. Right. So, for those of us who saw the movies, we know, like, oh, Vader just had this moment where he's like, Luke, I'm your father, you know? Uh-huh. Classic, right? But now he's like, wait a second. There's my, like, <laughs> uh, I wanted, I need to find him now. Right. Right? All right, so now, 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 Luke enters the picture. Lightsaber. Luke enters the picture, and I have to say, like, I was wrong about the art. <laughs> You're wrong about the art. Yeah, this this Luke looks like he's wearing a lot of makeup, <laughs> and his jacket's not right. That's a different jacket that in, that he had in the movie. You well, think they get that detail? 
Yeah. But like the Millennium Falcon looks great. Yeah, the Millennium Falcon looks great. And then <laughs> there's there's the there's the Emperor like sitting with uh with Jeff and like <laughs> like the look over over uh, Vader's shoulders, like who's that guy? <laughs> uh, this isn't what I want. He looks, so, yeah, it's it's sad Vader when he walks. Yeah, and he, he like turns away, away and he's like looking down, like he's you know Charlie Brown or something. <laughs> but he's got a, he's he's not going to lie down without a fight. He's got so this is why he we find out he goes to Jabba the Hutt a day early. Yeah, and he also has a meeting with. Boba Fett, right? Uh huh. So we see that we don't know still why he's doing those things, and he doesn't reveal it to his underlings either when he tells them he has to take this detour. Uh huh. But I like that because now I want to know. <laughs> yeah. So he hires Boba Fett and Boba Fett's uh, right hand man, who is also a, a Wookiee. But way bigger than Chewbacca. I think he, this this Wookiee think... looks like he's bigger than Chewbacca. And his name is... Yeah, uh, he's like standing behind a ridge or something. He's got like a weird cleave out of his head. Yeah, he's he's a really cool looking character. I, I like his belt. Yeah. Yeah, he's a super... If, if, you, li- if you like cool looking characters and a good hooky story, this is the comic. This is your new favorite. Because... And, and uh, you know, and characters that you also know and love. Or yeah, it loathe. helps that you would know so many of these characters. Yeah. But really, most of them aren't, like, pretty much only Vader is that, ma- like, a main character. Yeah. That you, that we know from other things. Like, Luke isn't really present yet. You know, he's in one page. Other than that, all, I guess... Bo- it's Boba Vader Fett. and, J- and Jabba, Jabba the Hutt. Hutt are the only other yeah. ones we really know. And then he, and then for some reason he's just chopped up all these uh, Tuscan warriors, the sand yeah, people. Yeah, I, I didn't. I thought that I'd skipped a page when I went to that full splash page because uh-huh. it's a full page, and I was reading it on Comicsology because it's not connected to like what's going. Like he's talking to, he's doing the deal about how he wants uh, an agent traced. And how, and the black Karsastin or whatever. Uh huh. But then the very next page, he's killed all these tartans and like he's standing in a like, in amongst the fire. And all my present business is concluded. Yeah, like he had a whole nother business like on top of this extra business, on top of the regular extra business. Right. Now also, uh. Um, he's a busy man. Yeah, he is a, he is a busy man. Also, he's a little bit chatty. Like there's a there's a little there's a couple mm-hmm. lines where I'm just like I don't know if Darth Vader would talk this much. Yeah, did did you read it in his voice? I did. I I I was I I didn't know how somebody would write it in his voice with the with the breaths in and out. Yeah, because it takes so long to read in his voice. <laughs> I did it for some of it, but you're right for some of the longer things I didn't. Yeah. Um. I liked it. I, I I I I'm happy that I own this the the next four issues and they're free on Comixology and I have them all downloaded. So I probably will continue reading this because it is it's it's not my it's not my new favorite comic, but it's it's um I don't know. I'm gonna say it's good. It's my sixth favorite new comic. <laughs> Wow, Larry, are you is that your is that your score? That's my score. I'm writing it down. Gave it six. Yeah. Well, I'm um, six out of whatever we've six read so seven. far. No, what, what have we read so far? Uh, yeah, six seven. out of seven. There you go. I I ranked it five out of seven. Okay. So pretty close. Pretty close. Um, the art. The art just kind of cut it back for me. The art is yeah. I, they could have elongated. I mean, Vader just seems sort of short. It seems like. They're like, these are pretty iconic figures that like, you would be able, like, there would be people who like have been drawing Darth Vader their whole life, Uh (laughs) who are like dying for a chance to draw a great Vader. And all the other characters, like, yeah, the faces, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the next cover looks so good though, where he's just walking along and he's got both both capes going. 